Hi, this is Matt with Matchy.com. I'm here with another comic book lettering tutorial for Illustrator. This time we're going to be looking at making complex balloon shapes using the Pathfinder. Um, if you're not familiar with the Pathfinder, you should be. The Pathfinder is one of the most important tools in Illustrator. It's, it's easily one of the most useful for shape creating, um, cutting out shapes, and whatnot. So if you have time to look into, into it in more depth, which hopefully someday I will with you, um, it's definitely worth looking at that. So um, hopefully you've seen um, part one of my Illustrator lettering series. If not, I would suggest you check it out so you can see how to set up your page. Um, even part two is probably handy so you can see about formatting your text. Um, but if not, that, that one's not as crucial because we just already got this text set up here for this. Um, so I'm just going to I've already got my page set up. I'm just going to jump over to layer two where I already have my balloon pasted onto the page. I'm going to put it behind my first block of text. Now what's going to be complex about this is I'm going to have a second attached piece of text, um, which we kind of covered this in the first one, but I'm going to get a little more detailed here. Um, so it's going to have like a little tail leading off to it. So, oops. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to hold down Alt or Option if you're using an Apple. And I'm just going to drag that off of there and it's going to make a copy of it for me. And then I'm just going to size it accordingly. And I've already sized this one almost kind of how I want it. So then back over here I'm going to size this one accordingly. There we go. So and this is going to be really simple. I'm just going to go grab the pen tool and just like how I would have made, say, uh, the pointer here, the tail, sorry, um, I can just do the same thing over here. Except for it's not a, it's not a tail, it's just going to connect the two bubbles. And if you want to get fancy and you want to do, you know, something that's more curved, we can do that. I'll just give you an example of that here. So, I mean, this is kind of a short area to really do that in but you can do something kind of curved like that um, which comes in handy if you're if it's if it's a lot longer of a, of a connection and it you know kind of whips around parts of the picture um, anyhow so that's basically it um, now remember you've got layer 3 with your text on it locked and you've got layer 1 with the picture on it locked so you can just go ahead and select the whole deal and come over here to your Pathfinder. This is where the Pathfinder comes in. I go to the Add Shape Area tool. I click on that. I click Expand. You might not have to click Expand depending on your settings and um, what version of Illustrator you have. And it connects the whole thing. This is kind of ugly. I'm going to go back and fix that because that's just embarrassing. I think the way I had it the first time was probably best. So I'm just going to go through that one more time. I'm going to select the whole thing. Come over here to the Pathfinder. Add the shape area tool, click on it, click expand, boom, all of a sudden you got one whole shape. So then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the uh, line weight, which is not actually crucial to this, but it's part of my process, and you're good to go. So that's pretty much the whole the whole deal there. So I want to say tell you thank you for watching. Um, check out matchfee.com for more videos and written tutorials. You can also check out my Facebook page. I'm going to have a link down there in the description. It's too long for me to rattle off. So uh, there I'll keep you up to date with what I'm doing, which I also do on matchy.com, but probably not as often. Um, so yeah, check out my Facebook for that. And also on Facebook, if you want to become, if you want to like my page or whatever, um, you can make video suggestions or requests or, you know, tell me my videos suck, whatever you want to do. All right. Well, thanks, and I'll see you next time.